This is absolutely the most effective uh, sweep picking exercise I know, or directional picking exercise, because what we're really talking about is just go from string to string with the same kind of stroke instead of going up and down. Then we just, you know, take that down stroke and just pass it over to the next string. That's sweep picking or directional picking. Um, and the best exercise, which I cannot get up to the same speed. <laughs> Right? I can't get it up to the same speed I can my, my sweep picking arpeggios, but every time I do it, I get an added sense of control and I, uh, you know, it just sounds better when I'm playing these uh, directional string shifts. So what is it? Well, it's super simple. You play two notes on one string and uh, two notes on another string. Then you go down up on the first string. <laughs> so if I'm playing on the G string here, I had the seventh and the fifth on the, on the G string as if you were in the first position A minor pentatonic, right? Then I play a down stroke in the seventh fret and an up stroke in the fifth fret. And then I take that up stroke and pass it over to the D string, seventh fret. So I go, so down, up, up, seventh fret, D string. Then I go down in the uh, fifth fret on the D string. Now I'm going down and I'm just passing that down stroke over to the first note again in the seventh fret on the G string. So it sounds like this. All right, so it goes seventh fret down, fifth fret up, seventh fret D string up, down stroke D string, fifth fret, and down again. So it's down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, and this can of course be any. You can play a major seven, a C major seventh arpeggio by playing the fifth and the ninth fret on both these strings, right? And and the the cool thing about it is that it it, it is it is the sweep picking challenge in its you know at at its core, like condensed, right? So we can learn to you know go. Now we can we can learn to kind of you know approximate that, but we cannot approximate that. It's impossible. So just try and do that for a couple of hours in front of the TV, right? Just going at a tempo where you can get it right, where you're not stressed. It's relatively easy to do, and you have that you have that this hand going up and down like that. And just keep it at a level where you can get everything right and you're in total control. No pushing for speed. Just do it for a couple of hours as you're being entertained by other things so you don't become insane. But And then feel what it does to your sweet picking uh, motion uh, when you play all kinds of other stuff. It really is all directional picking motion. It really is an amazing, very hard exercise, but it encapsulates everything that's that's difficult about sweet picking and so you can you can kill it. You can conquer it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon and go download the free course by clicking the link just below here in the description. And I sincerely hope to see you in the next video.